Hey, what's up sports to the bone family? Welcome back to another video. All right, so this one, I'm just gonna give you guys a quick lunchtime update as a regards to how that first test between West Indies and England is going on thus far. So it's lunchtime, West Indies, they have actually done well. One could say that they have managed to win another morning session, but you guys will know as well as I know that winning one session, don't win a test match. You have to be consistent throughout the five days of play in order to win the game all right so west indies they have basically done okay so far up to lunch the bowlers um did their job they came in early this morning they were able to clean up the tail i mean you know we could have gotten rid of them a little bit earlier than we did england eventually got bowled out for 311 johnny bear still going on to get a solid 140 as i said we could have gotten them earlier but a couple of chances went down um you know jason hole i think put down one or two and joshua de silva and john campbell so miscommunication in the slip garden when alzari joseph was able to get an edge you know both men stood looking at each other while the ball went through nonetheless we it didn't cost us too much hopefully and you know we were able to clean them up now it was actually young Jaden seals that got things up and running for us getting two early wickets to basically um, remove two of the batsmen that we expected would have hung around somewhat. Um, Alzari, as I said, came in, he was able to bowl fast, fast and hostile. You know, was basically roughing up the batsmen and, you know, uh, being tail enders, they fended off and pull, miss pull and all of that and got out. So 311 um is 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 what we got them for so we saw johnny bears too as i said basically being the last man to get dismissed for 140 very very good innings very well played now as it relates to the bowling uh seals he ended up getting four for 79 of 22 overs so young Jaden seals getting some wickets there uh alzari joseph he had two for 70 of his 20 overs two for 70 and you guys will remember that a couple of catches a couple of chances went down off his bowling uh jason holder two for 24 of his um two for 24 uh jason holder get got off his 21 overs so really really you know showing why he's the number one all-rounder in test cricket as it relates to the bowling aspect we will be looking out for him to do some work for us with the bat a little later on and um roach you know he, he 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 was good also you know i think he ended with a couple of wickets so ah uh, very very good uh, morning session i mean we as i said a couple of chances went a begging but at the end of the day 311 could have been worse they could have probably pushed on to 350 the fact that we had them at um you know 40 for four i think it was yesterday and then we allowed them to get all the way up to 300 uh, it's, it's, it, we, are, we can basically call ourselves lucky they didn't go on to get 350 or more so well done to the bowlers for coming in and basically getting us um getting us you know into things early early up as it relates to the to the batting now john campbell and craig brathwaite they are actually looking really good so far craig brathwaite i think it's the first time i am actually seeing craig brathwaite scoring so many fours in a test match you know in in within a, a, a whole hour or so maybe uh, maybe 45 minutes or somewhere there about it's the first time i would have i can remember seeing craig brathwaite getting so many boundaries i think he has so far scored maybe about five boundaries i think um so you know brathwaite is on 29 from 29 i run a ball in my viewers and subscribers i mean when you're playing test cricket and you know you're, you're facing the new ball if you get bad balls then you have to put bad balls away and you know that is what craig brathwaite is, is is doing john campbell is there on 14 from i think about 32 deliveries so 44 without loss and i think as i said brathwaite has five fours john campbell he would have struck um two so we we are off to a good start but as i said this is cricket you know this is test cricket my viewers and subscribers so we can lose one or two wickets and then things starting um just start to collapse but as it relates to, 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 to what I am expecting, you know, I am hoping that these guys will continue and, you know, basically see off the, the, the shine of the ball. Because I think it's going, it's going to become a little bit harder or it should become a little bit harder for the bowlers 
um, the longer the, the, the innings continue. Um, it's just that they have a, a spinner, you know, we, I am hoping that he doesn't come on and, and work any miracles here in the West Indies because he has not really proven himself at international level as yet. So I'm hoping he's not going to come and prove against our team. So as I said, these two batsmen just need to continue, you know, look to push as close as possible to T, continue scoring the runs. You know, Joe Root and his team is basically under pressure, not only because of what is happening on the field, but because of what is being said in the press as it relates to, G, to the, to the um, two two senior bowlers and this non broad being left out at the same time so you know the, the, the bowlers are going to be feeling it walks um stokes wood all of them or oh, um overton they are going to be feeling it and you know as i said <laughs> i don't know i don't know if it was a strategy or, or what but joe Root didn't open up with mark wood you know he opened with i think it was walks and 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 um overton it could be a case of him wanting to try and get um, a good line and length from early up because we know Mark with his pace but he tends to be a bit wayward every now and again so um, people will be looking at him for that because it didn't work he didn't get a wicket before um, the, the, the break there so you know a man might wonder why I didn't get, give Mark with the, the, the new ball so it is what it is my viewers and subscribers you know um, it's an opportunity for West Indies to push on and to get as close as possible or to overhaul that um, that that first innings um, to, uh, total by England, you know they're they're bowlers. They haven't gotten any wicket, so I am no. I, I actually know that in the dressing room now, West Indies are probably the, the happier of the two teams based on what would have happened in the morning session. Um, Walks, he is um, he's not really getting the ball to move a lot. You know when it is moving, uh, he he's actually getting it to to to, to go wayward. You know, and, and he's been clipped for a couple of boundaries so far. So, you know, um, he, he's definitely going to be looking to, to, to you know, basically improve things. So, um, it's up to the West Indies uh, captain to basically marshal, it, marshal the, the, his troops. You know, talk to John Campbell. I see him, John Campbell trying to hook after, after about one or two deliveries. You know, as I said, if the ball is there to be played and you have to play it, then so be it but you don't want to go you're making up shots because um you know you, 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 you want to score the good thing is that campbell shouldn't be under shouldn't be feeling any pressure right now based on what would have happened in the first inning um in the first session um or the first 40 40 minutes of batting because captain brathwaite as i said would have scored at a runner ball 29 29 right um campbell is being watchful he's doing his thing he faced one over of spin before the break so you know as i said he don't really need to to to, to go too hard because it's not like um brathwaite is there on 10 or uh, 50 balls or whatever it's not that brathwaite is scoring things might change because i i don't anticipate anticipate england coming back after lunch and you know really being sloppy so the 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 bad ball is probably not going to be that much so you might see you might find a case where brathwaite probably slow um slow down a little bit so i i am hoping that campbell will just keep his wits about him um people like bonan and those other guys are there to come i don't want them to bat right now i want these two guys to push the score as close as possible to 100 and then we can see where we go from there now as it relates to as it relates to the bowlers as i conclude here i i just want to say a big shout out to them for cleaning it up early this morning uh, we basically let it slip yesterday evening but they came back redeemed themselves so now it's just for the batsmen to, to basically go at it 311 i think it's a par score right now on that pitch so we're just going to wait and see how things um play out we know we know west indies and usually when we get off to a good start at the top you know usually usually find one or two people in the mid middle order settling down and batting you know it's not a case where we would have lost two or three early wickets and then we're looking to survive so the other guys looking on should be paying attention to what is happening out there so when it is their time they can just go out there and uh, make sure that they make use of it so yeah that's basically how the first session went my viewers and subscribers so go and leave it right here for now zin big up on yourself